Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today I wanted to do a quick video talking a little bit about OneSync and how you can change it from their normal version to the legacy version or completely turn it off for your 5M server. I've had a couple people ask me to do a video on this so thank you for suggesting it and if you have a video you want me to create let me know down in the comments below and I'll look into it. So let's talk a little bit about OneSync. So what OneSync does is it allows you to have a higher server count than what was originally planned for for GTA. 5M built it on top of the GTA core um, and it kind of is like a completely recreated uh, system for letting players interact with each other and everything. They have a whole technical thing here, which I highly recommend you reading if you're into the technical stuff. But this video, I'm not going to go into it. I'm just going to talk a little bit about the requirements for it. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about how you set server classes and stuff. So first of all, if you're going to be using um, higher player counts, you require a certain Patreon tier. It goes 48 slots um, is free by default. Anything above that requires one of their Patreon tiers. You can look on their Patreon for this, um, but it can go all the way up to over um, 2,048 players, which is pretty insane. I don't think I would ever get that many players in one server or at least have a server that could handle that, um, but it technically could, um, theoretically. So if you want that many players on your server, you're going to have to get a high level Patreon subscription. Otherwise, you can deal with the lower levels, but by default, um, one sync can be enabled um, in your server.cfg file, which if you haven't had a server already, I'll leave a link and a card in the top right to go to you where you set up a server. Um, but the server.cfg file is where everything is actually done. So you can see I have set one sync on inside of this file right below where my resources are enabled. It doesn't matter where you put it in this file. Anywhere is fine. Um, and you can see that it defines on what mode of state aware it will use. So one sync is either on, off, or legacy. So in our case, we're going to have it on. And I just realized that they actually changed it. So it's not going to be set one sync on. It's just going to be one sync on just like that. Perfect. See, we've already found an issue with how I was doing it. Always read the documentation. Um, but if you have one sync on, that's just going to enable the default one sync. If you want legacy, which would only be if you have scripts that aren't working because you have one sync on and you want to try to see if it will work. It's not recommended. Only do that if you need, but you can change this from on to legacy and it will go ahead and work like that. All you have to do to save this is just go ahead and save it and start up your 5M server. Now, if you start up your 5M server and you notice errors and notice things going wrong, you may want to check the resources and figure it out um, because most likely it's a resource causing the problem. But you can see here, I have no errors. Everything's loading. One sync is enabled as expected. So that's pretty much all you have to do. Put one sync either on, off, or legacy in your console, in your server.cfg, start your server, you're good to go. So hopefully this did help you out a little bit. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the description below. I'll see you next.